Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW guys. 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This is the 3 Series from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the DC converter fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, uh, where you can expect to find it, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, that way you do not waste your money. Why well, it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car that we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything, engines, transmissions, bodywork. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. On this channel, you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that BMW relay. Let's say you're down the road, uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse. You need to see where it's located. Uh, we'll have the video on the channel. You just search for one or two minutes, look at the video, replace it and you're back on the road. Otherwise guys, it's really confusing with these fuses. That's why we are making these videos. If you need to buy any tools, uh, parts for your BMW, uh, fuses, relays at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. We will share it for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So now the DC converter fuse guys, let's explain where it's located. We'll demonstrate on a 2013 BMW 3 Series. You guys have multiple fuse boxes, up to six. Three of them are visible, three are hidden. We have a special video that explains all about the fuse boxes and their location. But we need to just open the trunk on that BMW. Once you open it, grab that cargo liner and just pull it straight out. Once you pull it out under that arrow there, you will have a fuse box and the layout will look just like this one. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse, right? But uh, it could be guys a bad fuse. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, it's hard to see. You have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys, it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad, you may end up spending time, money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need. So always test fuses, it takes only uh, a few seconds. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well. Relays are easy to test, uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys. So check out the links will be in the description of the video below. So the DC converter fuse where it's located, this is towards the front of the BMW, this is towards the rear, that's on the uh, that's on the passenger side, this is on the driver side. We'll need to come in that row of fuses here and the fuse that we need to check guys, it's known as fuse number 142. We're talking about this 30 amp fuse that you need to check right here. This 30 amp fuse guys is the one for the DC converter that you will need to check. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.